Hello guys and welcome back to another video on how to grow. Today we're going to be discussing whether Kumit video calling is safe or not. But before getting started, remember to support our channel, hit the like button, subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss out on any new videos by us. Without further ado, let's get started. So there's two versions of Kumit. You can use it through your preferred browser. You can also install the application. Today we're also going to be discussing how you can use or download Kumit video calling application. So for that, go ahead and visit your Play Store. On the search box of your Play Store, type Kumit you'll be able to see the application if you tap on the install button it will start installing on your phone now let's discuss whether kumit application is safe or not if you scroll down under this very window you'll be able to see that it gives you a description of the safety and privacy measures that people are concerned about on kumit it claims that no data in the kumit application is shared with third parties it also states that this app may collect these data types, device or IDs. It also encrypts data in transit and you can request for the data to be deleted. So when you read this, it gives you a general idea of the safety features that Kumit has in place. And while adopting these safety features, Kumit claims to be a safe application. Now, once your application has finished installing, you'll be able to see a similar interface to this. Now go ahead and tap on the open button. This should redirect you to the Kumit application. Over here, you'll be able to see all the user agreement that you need to do in order for you to be able to use the application. Go ahead and tap on accept. If you want to read this, you can go ahead and read this thoroughly. If you want Kumit to send you notifications, tap on allow. Otherwise, tap on don't allow and proceed. Now to be able to use Kumit, you're going to have to register or sign in for an account on Kumit. If you're new to this, go ahead and tap on register. You can sign in with Google or all the applications that are provided to you down below, or you can create a separate account providing a different email. I'm going to go ahead and sign in with Google. Now go ahead and enter your name. After that, choose your age. You can also upload an image by tapping on the camera icon, Kumit will be able to access your camera or your photo library. After doing so, you can tap on save and your Kumit account should be enabled. There's also a premium version of Kumit. Now to use the Kumit application is very simple. After you've created your account, simply tap on the start searching button. You can tap on allow button so that allow so that Kumit can allow you to find, connect to, and determine the relative position of your nearby devices so it can recommend you people that are nearby your location. Go ahead and tap on allow if you want to proceed with it. Tap on accept. In order for you to be able to use the Kumit application, you're also going to have to provide Kumit the access to your microphone and your camera. So go ahead and toggle the switch only this time, toggle the switch only this time, and tap on start searching. Now again, tap on the start searching button. You'll be connected to someone of the opposite gender based on your preferences. After that, you can interact with your chat partner and end the call to find a new chat partner. This gives you the general idea of how you can use Kumit. Now, for the safety purposes, is Kumit video calling safe or not is the main question. Even though Kumit claims to have all these safety measures, there are still some potential risks associated with using Kumit, such as scams and inappropriate behavior. Kumit application is known for users to be engaging in inappropriate behavior during video calls. If this happens, you can obviously immediately end the call and report the user to Kumit. There's also scams that include people trying to trick you into giving them money. And again, you can also end the call and report this person, but there's but because of these reasons, you'll have to be very careful about sharing any personal information with the people you meet on the app. Overall, Kumit can be said to be a relatively safe app to use. However, it is important to be aware of the potential risks and to keep personal information about yourself to yourself and not sharing with random people on the application. I hope this video was useful and it gives you a general idea of Kumit and the safety measures that it provides. And if you have any questions still, let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.